Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you stuck at home, wondering what to do with your life? Have you gained 85 pounds in the last two weeks? Well, submit your application to the MPL, especially if you're fucking baldy niece. They've got an opening, apparently. Somebody called Billy Bum Boomin is causing a big stir in the community, and he might actually have somebody shit on his head. Is that true? Of course it isn't true. I only say shit, ladies and dweebs. All right, all right, all right. Let's fucking do the. Let's do this. Let's do the magics. Right? Is this the? Is this the one? Is this the one where I remember I actually love the magics? I think it might be. I don't know why. I think this is the one, boys. Bruce, straight in the chat. What an absolute meme started. Look, at, I need to replace this. I don't do enough uh, with the chaired character anymore. All right, I think there's a mulligan. Even though I only need one land. Right, I only need one land. I played like 30 lands. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fun. Jingai Charles in the chat. What are we going to do today, boys? Huh? How am I going to get out of the funk of Majiks? We did it. We got that land. And it's the right land, right? Well, technically, there's no wrong land from this spot. What are we going to do, boys? Whenever I see these things, I just remember no matter what goes on in Majiks, not Bolus, obviously, everything's fine. Everything's fine. While in the world exists such Boobamatrons, and not even just exists, people are like, check out these Boobamatrons. And I'm like, yeah. No need to get so down about Majiks. Right? You mags. So I tried uh, all, to all sorts. What's... What is the hindrance to me enjoying a game that at its core is still fun, right? Right? I'm up for the clarification sensation. I feel like Majix is still fun. So, for this deck, lads, you might have noticed there's a Shadow of the Sky that didn't used to be there. It's because I, I made this game, uh, deck probably 5% better by putting in Blow Up All the Peeps of people trying to run me over early days. So, if it actually stabilizes, we could play it in ranked. Oh my god, what an absolute superstar, boys. Dudes, this guy is absolute meme cuisines. Do you remember when Desolator Magic said this was 100% ruining standard? Of all the cards, Uro, Agent, Luca, Winota, Teferi, this dude. This dude, that was the dude. That was the dude, lads. He was gonna ruin the game, dudes. Dudes, can you fucking believe it? That dude, that dude right here was gonna ruin standard. I couldn't even believe it. Could, I, I, can't, I still can't believe it, lads. Standard is over party 2019, lads. Dudes! Dudes, are you seeing what I'm seeing, dudes? What can I do? What can I do? about this little Rudel Beaner. I mean, it's quite funny uh, if I if, if Star of Extinction was still my only removalage, because then I would actually be dead. But in reality, boys, have a shit. Don't have double white. That was pretty smug, right? You like, you like it when Cheeks gets all smug and he's actually dead. <laughs> right, so why don't I have double whites? Because I'm a load of old eights. Okay, so... Uh, we'll ditch one shatter so that he knows I had it. Yeah, I always had it. It was under control, boys. It was under control. Um, all right. God, I mean, I'm going to die before we get to the Golos. I think I'm already dead, right? Ah, shames. 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 But that was good, right? I can't say I had a bad time. And that's... Oh, what a little mima. What a little mima. So that's 12, 13... I might not be dead, lads. I might not be dead. Hold your balls. Hold your balls. Am I gonna die? He can't do the wolf. Right? Wolves are only on your turn. Yeah, yeah. But he will be able to kill me with a wolf uh, on his own turn. Which is minimum jeeps. Minimum jeeps. Alright, still not dead. Am I dead? Is that lethals now? One's not dead, as CGB likes to say. Okay, let's have a think. Number one, I think we got to blow everyone up. Right, I'm pretty sure that's the play. 
Number two. Who is going in the grave? Where are plans for the trials ahead? Gotta be this. Okay, now, yeah, hold those peepees. <laughs> hold those knobs. Okay, Garooks. That's, that's, that's totally fine. I can blow up this land if I've got double red. I do have double red. I know what I'm doing, Lance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So, uh, Scry. I want, I want to play Ulamog next turn, right? And this is getting blown up, unfortunately. Okay, can't actually, can't actually cast that next turn because of, I'm, I'm on one life. What's the play, boys? I think it is actually Ditch the Fountain. So, uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. All right, boys. Hold those peeps. Hold those peeps. We might get there. So if I draw an untapped land, I don't think that I own any. Uh, we can do the Yulamox. Okay. I think you just play Uro then, right? So everything gets shuffled back into my library. Uh, with Clear the Mind. So I need to think about what I want to come back. Alright. I'm gonna do it. Maybe. Maybe. See, this is better. Right? Playing a casual mono green dude with all of your sex bomb cards is definitely better than whatever I'm moaning about every day. <laughs> non stop. So I think we got him. Questing Beast can't do any damage. Right. Let's. How could I lose from here? I can't see it. Right. Can anyone see it? I don't think so. So Iron Scale Hydra can only be got either by buying straight from the shops and then getting a download code, I think. Or just buying it like a memester. So we can do two things. Oh man, we couldn't do anything. Man, it's not a shame. Alright, that was okay. Right? Pretty fun. So the two things is always you can Ulamog them or you can uh What's this? Call us them. What do you think? Play it in ranked. Play it in ranked. Against all the big boys. What do you think? You think uh what's his name is all still awake? Baldinis. Who's Baldinis? Crookies! Our man Crookies! You think he's still alive, did? Alright, before I go into this, nobody get too surprised when you see uh, what rank I am, because I'm the best, obviously. But this deck, ladies and shits, I th I'll play it before the end of the day. I've just had so many good games with it. Like, it's such a good deck for me. I love it. I don't feel like a pussy for playing... Uh, Teferis, let's check the connection is fine, alright. My phone's actually disconnected, but uh, the chat seems to be working, so that's fine. Sigil of the Empty Throne, it, uh, it's just got so many good games, lads. So many good games. Reclusive Coyote says, hey Cheeks, I'm Bash on your pending friends list. Hardly ever actually catch you live. Okay, that's all it takes. There you go, there he is. Just ra I've said this before. Just randomly sending me a, a deck list is dum dums. A deck list, a friend request, but I'll accept anyone because I like playing peeps. Because peeps usually offer you games um, that are a bit more varied than playing d dweeps, right? Right, ba 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 boys, ba 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 boys. All right, it's gonna be fine. Oh, there's no white. I've done it again, lads. Done it again. There, yeah, there's no white. I'll be fine, lads. Be fine. Okay, there's one white and blue. So I would need green. So play this. Hinterland Harbor. Growth Spiral. Into some more land. So then we'll do some shits. Who would have thunk you just played to fairies and you get to mythic? Well, Majiks is easy. Have you not heard that sentence before, lads? Magic is easy. All you have to do is be the best. And finally stop playing shit. 
And you can do it, boys. To be playing exactly the same shit that you play everywhere else, every day, non-stop. What a bunch of pubers. Hey, boys. I fucking love playing Mono White. Hey, boys. Have you ever heard Dr. Cheeks complain about Mono White? Especially with the incel Lance. You haven't? Well, where have you been, boys? Because I fucking love this. To me, this is the reason why I don't want to play Magic ever. But, you know, I gotta, I gotta get out of that. Either don't play Magic or stay quiet. Right, so another white land off the top and I win. Uh, okay, we didn't get a white land, so we lose. That's great Magic. Fun times by everybody. Fun times. Mr. Bolus. I'm pretty sure Mr. Bolus is not a fucking bitch playing the most banal deck in the history of Magics. But, uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'll never get tired of moaning about Mono White, no matter what I do in the world of Magics. And that guy won, yeah? He beat my uh, five color Ulamog ramp. Good for him. It's the shittest deck. One, if I had found a white land, that's it, he's got AIDS in his balls. When did I get to Mythic? A bit earlier. I wanted my warm-up games with the, uh, this is the thing, you can't play, you can't play the same deck all day. Because no, who's gonna watch that? But then again, I am incredible. And I suppose, I suppose people watch Summit 1G play the same shooters all day. So maybe it's the same. But obviously I want to mix decks around and all the that shit. But I play this by myself all the time because I like it. And I, I went like 10 and 0 earlier. So I went from mid mythic or mid diamond to mythics. But it's who cares, right? If it doesn't make if it doesn't bring me any joy to be still whether I'm playing unranked free play or mythic grade b pussies. I'm still playing mono white in cell lands, dump your hand, concede immediately if you get blown up. Huh? How can I escape it? How? Like, I, 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 I don't know. I just, I don't know. All right, we've got two blow ups this time. So, uh oh, this is a mono red player all day long. Right, dweebs? Right, dweebs? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dr. Cheeks. Dr. Cheeks. Have you started to be able to tell what somebody's playing just by the fucking loading screen? Cheeks, you absolute memer. This, ladies and shits, is how banal and predictable Magic the Gathering is. I saw this and I knew Mono Red. Because mono red players are predictable, fucking boring pussy rags. Oh well, that's a bit much, Chinks. This guy's clearly bravely bringing his own brutes. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just don't know. I think I'll probably. I've got a good chance to win any game with this deck, which makes it fun to play when you're by yourself, rubbing your ass. But I can't. I can't, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, just, I, don't I just don't. But we'll see. So, Ark on a Sun's Grace. And then hopefully resolve an Omen. Yeah, see, magic's fucking great. All right, I'm starting to lose my rag. Two games in a row decided immediately by whether or not I've got blow up some weenies. I could tell this guy was mono red that second the game started. I, this this isn't going to be a complaining stream, I swear. I swear that. But this is the thing I don't understand. And it's the same thing that I saw in Robert Whitaker's Twitter feed. And if Robert Whitaker agrees with me, then clearly that means if I had chosen a different path in life, I could have been a UFC middleweight champ. Easies. Easies. It's just, it's just obvious. Right, boys? We we got the same mindset. We're perennial winners, boys. Nobody's playing fucking mono red jizz rags in that guy's house. In the same way, nobody played that over here. Technical four five says Robert Whitaker the fighter. Yeah, Robert Whitaker the fighter is mythic grade magics. 
and he was tweeting out the other day, what a bunch of pussies play this game. And I, well, he didn't frame it that way. Oh my fucking days! My god! What can I do? What can I do, ladies and shits? Fucking hell. I'm gonna actually sign out. I, I mean, I said it was gonna be fun time, shits. Everybody have a good time. And grounds, you happy to see your mum's ass? Bibbity bibs. Ugh. I don't know, boys. Like, how? I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I thought, for reals, this is my naivety. I thought getting to Mythic, everybody would calm down with the fucking mono decks. We've played three all mono weenie dog shit. All virgin lands. No variety or variation in the builds. Dudes, I need, I don't know what I need. I need to slap you all in the face. It's, it's, it's your fault somehow. I know, don't try, don't pretend it's not. Trying to give me this shit. It's 100% your fault that this game is so balls. <laughs> uh, all right, what do I do here? So I could draw another card, but it will cost me a life. And it will cost me a search for a scanner. But I'll be a 3-5, which is probably okay. But then if he resolves Heliod, then I'm catch eight. I want to get out of this game. So let's find a blow up all the peeps. Right, boys. Okay, well, Lance is probably fine. Like, the just the idea now of uh, playing... I don't even want to say homebrew because it's just... It's just Okay, boys. Hey, have you ever seen a mono white slang get out of a game super quicks? Of course you have. It literally just happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, this is two weenies. This is too much weenies for me to just blow up. So do I play the sigil? And then Elspeth conquers death? I think so. Right. Lay the foundations uh, for being rude boys. And then we'll get them. We'll get them later. Right. Right. Da -da -da dudes. A Johnny. Boys. This guy's absolute brewing. He's doing it exactly like everyone else. He's got the Virgin Lands. He's got all the same cards. Same cards as the last guy. He's got the Virgin's Dogs. 79%, not 69, because we all know 79 means you're actually ending up sucking your own balls. What an absolute memester. So, Elspeth conquers death. Exile this, get an angel to block this. Uh, he's only got one card. I am going to have seven cards for the rest of the match. Soon as things start looking a little bit hairy, wabams. Right, boys. Right, boys. Plus, I can put my Satessa Champ back on the field because of this. All of these are plays. This is what's known in the business as Majig's plays. This guy in his head is going, if I play this and then this and I dump that and all of these guys just get bigger, then I might be able to attack with everyone and just win. This game is fucking AIDS. This game is AIDS. How is it in this guy's mind he doesn't know how much AIDS he's got hidden in his little balls? Huh? I don't understand. The level of aidism. The level of Adrian Atkinson aidsisms in Magic's 2019. All right, let's think. Am I actually blocking here and here and then blowing everyone up? Or can I actually escape? I don't think I can escape, right? Because this thing goes ultimates next turn. So it doesn't really make any difference. So, blow everyone up. He makes another weenie, and then we gotta find a way to get the weenies back. It's fucking boring horse shit. Uh, this game is so bland. Everybody is such a pussy. Uh, I don't know. Human arms. So, first things first, everyone's gotta die. Then I could scry. I think Sir and Champ is okay. So we can exile this to exile artifact and creatures. So we can exile the Champ at the man's leisure. That's not gr that good. What can I put back on the field? Another Champ. <sighs> That's probably fine. I just want to play stuff. I just want to play interesting things. I just, I just do. Is that such a crazy thing to ask for in 2019, lads? Is it really, boys? 
This is such an insane thing that I am unequivocally the good guy with multiple Teferis. Okay, that's not great. I think we gotta do this, Grice. Gotta find some enchantments. Right, boys. Mm. So all of my creatures get exiled uh, when he needs them to. Archon is such a squeebler, though. Mm hmm. Nah. Nah, nah. Not with this on the field. We can find something better. Right, dudes. Like, I just want to play something else. I just want to play. I just want to play some games. Like, hey, I just opened this silly rare from, um... All right, so has he got a third of Johnny? Or is he just horny to kill my, uh, Shmeebla? Okay. Is he absolutely gonna do it, boys, with his incredible skills of being a top deck wizard? I hate this. I just do. I think I do hate this game. And I know it's because of the players. Right? I, it's because of these fucking loser pussies. Uh, there's just nothing more succinctly needed to uh, be... It's just the perfect description. You are fucking embarrassing dweebs. Alright, is he going to give me the GG's, boys? Are we going to get the GG's? Because I'm actually dead. No, I'm just dead. There's nothing. Oh, that's not true. Forgot about that. Okay, Shadow the Shits, what do you think about that? So, one, two, three, four. Is it? No, I counted this already. What else have I got? Teferi, Elspeth conquers death. I'll die. Will I? Hmm. No, I won't. Alright, we'll take Elspeth conquers death instead. get an angel from this thing. Helly bobbler's gotta go. Take a shock for a mystical dispute? That seems bad, right? Seems too risky. Alright, hold your dicks. If he's got removal for my sexy angel, then, uh, then I'm gonna lose. But we'll see. We'll see, boys. Couple of bishops. So, drawing a lot of creatures. I, I need an enchantment. And we can do it. So, he gets a 1 1. Maybe I'll just look for a blow ups. If I find a blow ups this time, I don't think he's going to be able to recover. But how many have I given up? 1 2. So, not a high percentage, right? But we'll try. Okay, that's a bad card. Hold those fucking tiny balls. Ugh, that's not it, right? There's no way out now. One, two, one, two. Okay, I suppose I could omen. Uh, and then look, right? Make sure I got double white open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold your peepees. Hold your peepees, boys. We're gonna get out of this mess. Hmm. This is the last chance. <laughs> Ah, nice one, lads. I still feel like I had a game of Magics. Uh, I don't I mean, I shouldn't uh, apply a life story on all these identical net deck, one note, Charlie Bongola, Virgin Pussies. But, uh, you know, that's what they are. I'll stick my, any, I'll stick everything on the line. I'll put my dick in an altar of the Lord, and I will say, Dear Zeus, if I am wrong about all of these weirdo Magic the Gathering losers, use thine lightning chain to sever my colossal meat stack and teach me a lesson to presume all of these one-note identical fucking pussy land l nobodies <laughs> whoops, uh, are actually high-flying middle management corporate sex bombs SWAT team door booters, UFC champs. I'll walk around uh, uh, with smooth balls for the rest of my life. Huh? Smooth balls. Yeah, of course. I called my dad uh, when I got to Mythic, and he hung up on me immediately. And then he, I heard he went to Vodafone and changed his number wanks. 
That is how much Mythics means to everybody. E Austin 92 with five dollars. Thanks very much, man. First time catching you live. Thank you for the entertaining content. Literally the only magic YouTuber I watch. Keep up the excellent work. Austin, I'm the best. I wish it wasn't true, because if I wasn't the best, then I could enjoy watching somebody else. And I have to just watch CGBs. He's alright. He's a good dude. He makes some good content. But he's not exactly in the he doesn't call anyone for jeans. I can't I just can't get behind a man who can't call anyone of a jeans. Huh? How do you play mono white and uh, mono red three times in a row? Uh, and just not go on a full Virgin? I want to shout it outside. I want to open my window in the middle of summer and just start like, hey, number 49. Did you know everybody who plays Majiks is a Virgins? No need to call the police. I'm not coming in. You need to know. Everybody needs to know. I'm going to start walking around with a bell. Like one of those bells you got at school to say it was the end of playtime. And I'm just going to just tell everybody Majix is the Virgins. And then one out of ten people are going to be like, yeah, we know. The game is a fucking a disgrace. How can it be such monotonous fucking shit all day long? How? How can every video I make also do the same thing? All right, what are we playing? Anyone want to play? So there's no... Oh, Brewer's uh, Guild Shits are still open. Let's do a Brawl Ditch, right? I've only got one Brawl deck. But it's a bit different, ain't it? In it, you fucking manch. Randy Gilbert says, Gabby Smunks burst through the door, sucks your wing, uh, or so Reddit believes. Oh, you mean when you get to Mythic? I did get uh, an email asking my choice of the Whizbang Slags, and I was like, nah. I'll, I'll take like a discount on a, a Fleshlight. I'll take a discount on a sponge, rather than stick my dick anywhere near Gabby Sparks or Alias V. Or Amazonian being a fucking bunch of cunts. What's her name? Lisbeth Eden's a different story. But only because of her commitment to getting her boobatrons out. You have to respect that. Right? You just have to, dudes. So this guy's playing knights. I guess. Uh, by playing a knight commander. That's pretty good. Is it? So I need... That's alright, isn't it? I think that's better than just playing a growth elemental. So I need a black land for Christine Spranks. Or what else? Well, we'll see. Doesn't well, who cares? Doesn't make any difference. We'll just try and play uh, a game, an entertaining game. Cheeks going for top twelve hundred. You'll be in the qualifiers weekend. Or oh, did we got Christine Spranks on curve? I think it's best, honestly. Um, never to alert Whizbang's attention to anything that I've ever done. I still, to this day, am surprised Pussy Kenobi didn't actually manage to get anything done. Because he started... You, we, we're hearing a lot on the YouTube. I don't know if you are a YouTube dramas man. What's his name? Keemstar and the other guy. Haged Reproductions are having a, a big thing. And they're losing sponsors. And they're getting everyone's crying to each other. That's what he did. He tried to get everybody to take a shit on old chicks. Because he could just tell uh, his bullshit content couldn't keep up with my rip roar and squibblage. But it didn't stick. And I'm to the, yeah, to this day, I'm surprised. So I think the quieter I am on the. I don't mean, if I win a GP, wizards are probably going to get a bit annoyed about it. So five manes. I think we're going to put Christine Spranks on the back burners. So, uh, let's have a think. I don't need double blue. So if this gets killed, I think that's fine. Right, boys. Right, bubba boys. What were we talking about? I don't know. Every time I, uh, Elizabeth Eden gets brought up, I just think... How is it that somebody so terrible at Majinx is still somebody I look up to as having, not morals, the integrity of sticking by the person that she is, which is a girl who likes showing her boobatrons. I respect it. Unequivocal respectage. So uh, I will lose my Ugin if I blow this up. 
I don't know if that's what I want to do. Do I blow this up instead? I think that's bad. Right. I don't think I need to blow that up yet. Hmm. Let's think. I don't want to think. Eat my ass. This thing's going in the bin. Six mana, destroy target, enchantment. Never mind. But getting to rank ain't nothing to pull your, your fucking dick out about. I've said that forever. But, uh, you know, you can rub it in everyone's face who gets horny. I'm number one, Martha did. I'm number one, Baldy. Yeah, well, I'm like number 2,000, Baldy. I thought there were 50 million Magic players. I'm apparently number 2,000 out of 50 million. What a load of old bullshit. So, let's think. If this resolves... Oh, it's six mana. Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, Elizabeth Eden. I don't know. Like, almost two of man... I say two of man. To be fair, I don't think I've ever seen anything from Alias V that would compromise my... Uh, oh, I could have played this first, could I? I don't know. Compromise my belief that she sticks to her guns. And I don't even know what that would even mean. But... She's just rubbish to me, which is fine. But Amazonian, uh, Gabby Sparks, just such two-faced fucking slags. And I don't mean slag in the conventional sense. Obviously, with Gabby Sparks, it's a bit different. But, uh, yeah, just complete muff juice. All right, so how are we winning this game next turn? Christine Spranks, make him sacrifice this. Is that good? Can I actually win? Let's have a look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. He's on twenty-four cheeks. All right, let's let's uh, back burner that one. <laughs> I'm just so good at this game. Sometimes I forget how much AIDS I've got in my balls. So uh, I have to pay real mana cost now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I play this, I can't kill this. Uh, with an assassin's trophy, but I can just block it. We'll see. We'll see. Right, did it? We'll see. Maybe I should have played. No, no, that wouldn't work. I don't want to use ranks. I keep ranks in the banks. Or shall I just play Yarrick? Nah, this is best. Is it? You like how uh, assertive I was? This is definitely best. 100% it could be worse. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, I can get uh, Ronus back from the grave with uh, the Hour of Devastation, or whatever that card is called. That's that's how I think I win. Give everyone the doobliss. Give everyone the doobliss. The doobliss attacks. Droop Snoot, someone else. Alex O'Brien, the CGB is so family friendly. I like his content. <laughs> but it's so tame. Don't. I'm. I'm just teasing. This content's really good. There's no need to be means. Although technically, call the game tape is you know kind of accurate. He's the type of dude to say excuse me when he's home completely alone, and then drops his shit on the floor. Uh, is nah. I don't. I think. I think CGB is a dark horse for being an absolute memester. An absolute memester lad. I bet you a million dollars. I bet you one million dollars. He's the kind of guy who's got a secret basement filled with whips and chain link uh, dildos. 100%. 100% boys. What are we doing? What's my play? I need to think while he's thinking so I don't waste any time. So, can I win on this turn? Play Vraska. Kill this. Attack with everybody. Equals... Let's say this dies... Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if he would block there, he would take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I were to kill it and then play Christine Spranks, I'd have to tap a guy for mayonnaise. I can't do that. Can I kill both things? I can kill both things. Right. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Is it right? I don't know. 
I'm too preoccupied now thinking about CGB's uh, naughty dungeons. So if I kill this, then all of this damage gets through. That's five. Mm, all right, well, maybe it was enough. Des says, what advice would you give a jank loving player wanting to reach Mythic? Son, I would say, give it up. Give it up at bronze rank. Here's the best piece of advice I wish I could give you. I wish I could give you the advice, which is just do whatever makes you happy. Because unfortunately, I, I've not found that uh, elixir for myself. You would think somewhere in some format would be the best game in the world because magic's good. It's good enough to have me keep playing despite... It's like people who play FIFA all day and it, it, they just fucking hate it. Like, uh, because, because that one through ball for Theo Walcott to skip past the keeps and do a sexy dink and it just clear the guy on the line. That's amazing. It's, a, it's amazing. But then you have to go through fucking 25 games of playing Real Madrid uh, and then just... Just, 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 just play free-to-play. Mm, I don't think that's a solution to anything. Just play free-to-play means you don't have any good cards. And in free-play, everybody smashes your pubes with uh, fires. And it's not much fun. So, uh, I'm just going to leave everything open for today. What do you think? What should we do? What should we do, dudes? Drafts. Play more historic ranked. I'm not playing standard ranked. Because I don't have any standard decks and I hate standard. What else is on this list? Free plays. While we're waiting. While we're waiting for everybody to decide. What everybody loves. The old thrannies, right? Joshua Paul that says draft. Vladim also says draft. Droop Snoot says, dude, maybe if the rewards weren't so based on wins, then maybe there wouldn't be so many Vagines, even in free play. See, I actually think that you're wrong there, Lant. The rewards are uh, far more in favor of completing quests, right? You get much more coins from playing 40 lands than you do from winning. Anybody wasting their time trying to get 15 wins for an extra 50 gold is an idiot. And I hate to lump you in if that's what you're doing. Play 40 lands is 750 gold. Win two games is 250 gold, which is a little bit better. Right, boys? Classic companion. No, just, just fine. Just fine. Got no need to play this. Slow him down a turn while I get ready to blow everyone up. Absolute pubes. Absolute pubes. Go look at that. Got a mortify out of his hand. Absolute memes. <laughs> I, I've upgraded it from pubes to memes. <laughs> All right, we got so many blow ups. The I am blo I'm blowing this guy up. It is a bit of a waste, but you know we're playing for the we're playing for the shits, and I got my hands terrible. Juni gone eight. I don't see any rare lands. Okay. 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 <laughs> What about you? Do you also need to explode? I think so. I think we're just going explodes crazies. Someone else says, seeing you lose your do-rag uh, in draft is always fun. I don't want to lose my do-rags. I want to just, I just want to have a good time, boys. It's, I feel like I'm a guy in a whorehouse who is always dropping his pantaloons on the floor. Uh, or can't get a boner the second the best pair of tits is available. Or has already smunked his beans and then he finds out that Brianna Costello uh, is free in an hour. And then you just like, ah, oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, my balls. My fucking balls are empty. And I need to, I need full balls for Miss Costello. This is beans. All right. So if I top deck the Gishath, then Gishath is good. If I don't, We'll pretend like we're going to use this and we'll settle the wreckage. Right, boys? Okay, okay. Okay, he's got more cards than I thought, but it doesn't look like a very strong deck. So, if I win this game, I'm only going to call uh, 
Mark Rosewater and tell him I need to be on the the players tour because they're just giving out like to any old slag right what can I tell him that needs to be the most convincing argument why Dr. Cheeks should be on the players tour obviously I can't go straight in the MPL that's crazy dude that's crazy but I should I should on a quiver gully be on the uh, the next level right toiling away trying as hard as I can going one and nine like Gabby Sparks always did oh man speaking of old gaps did you see uh, channel fireball events close down they had to chose. They had to close Channel Fireball events, uh, but they didn't release uh, Gabby Sparks uh, from the esports team. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, esports guys, we had a great run. Uh, unfortunately, coronavirus means that we need to shut the whole thing. Oh, but Gabby Sparks has provided incredible value on our esports team uh, in losing every game she ever played. So we got to keep her on the payroll, B -b -b boys. Right. Ba 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 boys, Gabby Sparks, absolutely indispensable to the crew. Indispensable. Alright. So, it's a tricky one for this guy. What do you do here? You can't absorb any damage, really. So, I think you just have to take it. I'll, I'll, I always criticize people for not taking, for not blocking. I don't think he would have got out of that. That's not bad. He did. He did. The cash prize magic open is this weekend. That's true. I'm playing against Blue Flash. Everybody hates that. Chaos Mastermind says, if they did let you in, they'd have you chained up on a dolly with a face mask like Hannibal Lecter. I'd still be, I'd still get out of it. If any Magic the Gathering player uh, tied me up, I would, I would bank my, I'd bank on myself to be able to break through uh, their incredible levels of strength. That's what I think. So this guy, all right, okay. Let's have a think. I think drawing seven cards is probably fine, isn't it? Classic companions. Hey, boys, you want to just draw five and have a five-four? Obviously, that guy's actually in my deck. As opposed to my sideboard, but, you know, we're all on the complainy bandwagons about companions these days, so... So there's no benefit to attacking uh, with anything that's not flying. Oh, is that lethals? I didn't realize it was lethals, boys. He might have been a contender for a concede. Now that I now that I'm mythic, I walk around uh, my hat my house with like a fake pope hat on, uh, giving out free wins in free play to people I deem worthy. That's that's the kind of guy I am now. I just go around blessing everybody by flicking my jizz all over the corners. My cat is like, nah, not this fucking shit. It doesn't come out no more. But then when I play Arena in the free place, that means people get free wins if they're playing a good deck. Uh, and obviously I decide what uh, constitutes good or not. So I tried to build this deck last night. Uh, it reminded me Majix is hard. <laughs> Look at this fucking mess. So I thought to myself, I know what to try, boys. Let's try Improbable Alliance, Riel uh, for all the shits, uh, Vadrock for some useless shit, and then Regal, Leosaur, Mutate, so all these guys become 6-6s six on one turn. And it didn't work once. I couldn't even make a fake Chun-Li video where it came off 35 times, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so I think that's for a deletion. But what should we do? Two people said draft. That's not enough for me to actually do a draft for the amount of time that I invest in it. Let's just keep playing ranked. Right? Give I wanna see. I wanna see how how toxic uh ranked is. Oh we're playing historic ranked, I suppose. But that should that should be fine as well. Right, that should be fine too. S May May Enthusiast says, I only went to Platinum for Shark Typhoon Foil. Never understood Mothagimar's dick. Shark Typhoon Foil. I don't know. Oh, with literally same guy. Same fucking guy, dudes. Can you, be can you believe it? 
Can you believe it? So I'm playing mono white, I guess. I guess he's just been spamming uh, mono. Oh, it's the red. Ah, he's too scared to play. He knows he's bungled. He remembers he got bungled. We did it. It worked it. even more percent. The numbers. Oh my God. Can you believe it? it can you believe it? it? Oh my God. We're getting more percentage number ones. So. That means four games. Every Two mono red against the same guy. And two mono white identical builds. Alright. I'm going to play... Let's try this in ranked and see how much fun there is to be had. Right, boys? Hey, boys. Magic is ultra fun. Genome. I don't know what that means. So, Settler Shits, Bond of Flourishing, Thrill. And I get to go first. I think that's okay. Umori. Mm. What do you think? Mutate. Mutate's not really for historic though, is it? Because because of what? What's the follow-up word? E every mutate card is in standard. Okay, that's kind of big. It's not what I actually need. So thrill. Yeah. I only need to throw one away. Mm, yeah, I can go. Okay, that's not bad. Ranging Raptors, pretty solid. Right, did. But if he plays a creature, that means all his entire deck is creatures. That's how this works. Right. Right, did. So, Ranging Raptors should be pretty good. This is also for the blocks. Bond of Flourishing to find some shit. Yeah? Yeah? There's stuff to do, dudes. Okay. Blocking with this is just uh, easy. That's good. So, I can play the Kahira and stop what? Stop what? Nothing. If I play this this is taking the damage from here, so I'm going to get enough lands to play this, or a settle of shits. I'm going to play this, I think. Mm. I don't know how we can possibly kill this outside of uh, combat damage, or outside of damage, right? Oh my god, it was just fucking AIDS all along, boys. You don't get to look at my deck, you fucking pussy. Get the fuck out of here. It was AIDS. It was AIDS the whole time. How could I not have predicted somebody didn't want to play Magic in our game of Magic? You fucking mugs. All right, that was my fault, boys, for trying to do some silly shit. I'll learn for next time. I'm not going to learn, obviously. I'll still like to believe in... But I need to get up to Mythic 3, dude. I do, what do I do now I'm in Mythic? I do, there's nowhere to go. Why are you still spamming the AIDS decks? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I want to get to Mythic number one now. That's what it's all about. I want to get to Mythic number one. I play 10 hours a day so I can be in Mythic number one, dudes. 10 hours a day, lads. And I have not grown no hair to come back. My hair didn't come back. Gabby Sports told me I'd look like a sexy man. Dude, what are you going to do? All right, I like the look of this deck. I don't like Stone Coil Serpent. We made this deck on the stream on the old Twitch. Stone Coil Serpent is the weak card, if you ask me. We'll try it anyway. There's two different versions, though. So maybe the other one... I like how they're both eights. <laughs> All right, this one definitely looks... Different. Fiend Artisan. Vraska Sexy. I'm going to try the other one. Version 2. We can only keep one. Is that real? I don't know. So I forgot. I don't even know which one is which. I'll presume it's this one. 
Fuck it. We'll play one of each. Right. Right, you megs. <sighs> so the difference in this is... You have five mana creatures to get your obliterator out. Okay, this is this is good. Right? So we'll stick to the we'll stick to lands. Hopefully. And then play Vivian and then play Underrealm Lick with the minus effect and get uh, an obliterator on the field. That's the plan. Oh well there's one. You can just draw it, cheeks. You can just draw it like a meme Classic mythic plays. I'm not going to sacrifice this till the end step because I'm mythics, Dad. Hey, Dad, that's what we do on the Pro Tours. You think that means that he's playing blue? Is he playing a full blue flash to throw us off the off the scent? Hmm? Is it blue blacks? Is it bolus? Is it bolus? Uh, what's the follow up word? I forgot. Never mind. We'll just see. We'll just see. Okay, so it could easily be the old obliterator mirror. I fancy my pubes in that one. Uh, why do I fancy my pubes? Because I got to go first. Although I don't have any fight cards. We'll still... We'll see. We'll see. Chaos Martemite says, I played a deck with four Orders of the Ebon Legion and 56 lands, and I got a win. Well, things be memes in. All right. Arena is great. But Obliterator is what we're doing, isn't it? Right. So hopefully I draw the land. And then we can play Vivian. And then the Lick. And we can do the thing. We can do the thing! Right! Fucking Max. Maybe Arena was better though. So, is it going to be a Jewel off? Is it going to be a Jewel off? Have you got an Obliterator too? Hey, boys! It's not like this game is AIDS. Right! You gonna fight my obliterator? Not today. Not today. So we didn't draw. I'm gonna have to play this for one. Uh, just to have a permanent on the field. In case we have to do uh, a sacrifice I'm off. Alright, so let's think. If I attack and he blocks. One, two, three, four. Get fucked, mate. Get fucked. <laughs> I'll sacrifice everything. Okay, we didn't, I don't think blocking is the is the play. Because if we start again from nothing, I've got an arena and more life than him. So I, if he blocks, yeah, if he blocks, I think he's dead. But if he's got a fight card... Oh, it, well, it still takes five damage. Maybe he could... Eh, if he fights this... It dies, that's fine. And I only sacrifice two permanents, that's fine. If he fights this, I only sacrifice one, that's also fine. We'll see. Joshua Powler says, this looks like Merchant's deck. Well, if it's Merchant's deck, then I back myself every day of the week. Back myself every day of the week to beat that fat sack of shit. Hmm. You didn't want to stomp my Phyrexy, boys. What an absolute memester, lad. All right. Draw a fight spell. Win the game. Right, dudes. Not this time. Oh, that is absolute monk of pubes. Okay. Uh, I still like the Vivian play. Vivian might die. Especially if he finds... Oh, man, getting close, boys! We're gonna have a problem. Uh, what do I want? It doesn't really matter. I call, and Decoria answers. Everybody hold your dicks. <laughs> so, if he's got a fight spell. I don't I don't understand I don't see how he can get out of it. Cause if he's not fighting If he fights anything, I don't care, right? And then next turn I get to fight the obliterator as long as he doesn't have hard removalage. That's fine. Yeah, that's not, that's not the problem, lad. Uh, let's think. Let's think. So, fighty fights. Hmm. Well, we'll see. 
If he's got a second fight spell, then I'll just lose all my shit and I'll die. But that's fine, dude. Imagine copying a merchant deck. Imagine being that level of a moron. Hey, dudes. A D double O X D X. So I can make him lose five permanents. One, two, three, four, five. He'll still have an obliterator, so I'll lose. Never mind, A hey, boys. That's just for the memes. All right, he's taken a long time to prove what an eight maestro he is. Oh, I can play the Triton as well. I can do it on my turn? Right, this is an instant. Okay, okay. Everybody hold on. Everyone hold on to your pubes. Everybody hold on to those pubes. We'll give him a chance. Right, dudes? Has he got hard removals? Is his cock really rigid to the tip to kill my obliterator? Or is he going to sit around wondering where his life went wrong copying a Murchie Boy's deck? Five, six... I think he's got something. I think he's got probably this. But we'll see. We'll see, boys. So, here's my thoughts currently. How would I miss lethal if I didn't sacrifice the Triton on my turn? Maybe. Maybes. So, block here. Take five, six, seven by the looks of it. If he goes for a fight effect, then I fight this in response. How many permanents will I lose from here? Five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll get to keep this. All right. I'm doing it now. If he's got removal, uh, like a murder, then it's... What are you going to do about it? Right, boys. Oh, those peepees. He's definitely giving this game a lot of thought. It's kill the obliterator. Okay. I mean... I don't know. I don't know. That sort of looks like the same play. So he takes five. One, two, three, four, five. He'd be left with an obliterator. I think that's the game though, right? One, two, three, four, five. I can sacrifice this. Okay, he got it, boys. Absolute memester. What an absolute brewmeister. I don't think he stole the merchant's deck. I couldn't lose to a merchant's deck in a, in a million years. Never did. Never deadly did. Let's see. There's a white instant for one mana that gives a blocker plus seven plus seven. You could use it on your opponent's minion in that attack. Is there any deck? Is there any deck where Phyrexian Obliterator works in a white deck? I suppose I could play... Uh, what would you call it? The... Yeah, it's just, it's just no protection from it, right? So this is predominantly black. So let's have a look. If you s took this out, let's say, and you played Obliterator. I don't know. I think we might actually be onto something. Let's give that a try. But it's, you have to have them block it. Nah, it's not going to work. Because they would have to block an Obliterator. And nobody does. People would rather take five than just lose all their cards. Right. Randy Gilbert says, Merchant's deck, that's an oxymoron. He's got it, Lance. Nice uh, use of the GCSE language. But he's right. I'm pretty sure Merchie Boys nicked it from somewhere on else. That's the man's style. Right, Bubba Boys. So what else can we do? You want to try that? I don't want to try that deck. I don't think it's... I don't think it has any legs at all. Because, like I said, it's not doing any blocking. Bah, bah, bah. Look at all these decks, and I know that they're all bolts. Because no matter what I do, I'm going to be playing some Bellend. I still don't think I mind so much. Right. 
What else? Let's play the regular raids version. So if you're wondering why either is called AIDS, it was because we built a really fun version, eh? Didn't we, guys? Uh, and then it got proved that you just got run over by mono white dweeps. So... What did I do? I put uh, more powerful cards in. And as soon as you start putting powerful cards in your deck, you know you've lost the battle. So, Obliterator, Prey Upon, Glow Spore. That's not bad. Joshua Paula also says draft. There's just not enough call for a draft. I would do it, but it's expensive and time consuming and all the rest of those things that give me the, the tingle balls. What about the green pump spell that says this creature must be blocked by everyone if able? Which is that? Again, you put yourself in a spot where there's a chance um... They don't play any creatures. And you're just left with a load of shit. Oh man, that's a ball buster. That is an absolute ball buster Roonies. That's it. Deed. Deeds. I'm deeds. I'm done deeds. Turn two deeds. What are you going to do, lads? Turn two deeds. Alright, I'm just turn two deeds. I don't want to play against uh, this horse shit from like five years ago. Well, I'm not drawing any lands. What'd you do? Uh, Corrick A says, Do I watch Cheeks or the Riots? Well, you, who's to say you have to do either? Put me on your phone, get rioting. Right? Just don't punch any policemen. Uh, just get yourself a new TV. Or if you riot like we did in London a few years ago, steal yourself uh, a huge bag of long grain rice and then put it on Instagram so that the police can instantly identify you and come and get you. All of this rioting brought up some, uh, some fond memories of all the fucking morons smashing up London. And they all got squeebled. Alright, I'm going to keep that. Uh because I feel like I'm going to... This is the game. This is the game. Dudes. This is the game. Where everything comes together. Right, dudes. I'm going to play this first. Because if I play my... I'm not probably not going to play my Triton next turn with an arena in my hand. Right? That might have been a bit of a balls up. Might have been a little bit of the old AIDS. Okay. Boys, you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm getting absolute horns over this one. So the trick is, ladies and shits, don't play an obliterator on turn four unless you know there's no way it's getting killed other than by getting blacked. Gruel makes me think it is safe to play on turn four. Right? I think we should be okay. I think we're going to be fine. Nope. Okay. Rub it up, Dobbs. Eat my pubes. <laughs> He's probably going, Oh, fucking have a pussy playing Phyrexian Obliterator. Get your own ideas, you fucking mag. You fucking bitch. I wonder if everybody plays Majix uh, in that vein. Everyone's a wanker. Net deck and bitch. I, I, I mean, I was complaining somebody played uh, some Hydra bullshit on me. Okay, he's actually got quite a lot of power on the board. So just blocking this means he sacrificed five peeps. And it will, these will be, all become four fours. I think he's actually not in a bad spot. Uh -huh. So let's think. They're obviously playing this. Another Triton. Hmm. Alright, so if I prey upon this, he sacrifices three. Alright, I think that's good enough, right? Sacrifices three. They don't get any bigger. That's got to be good enough. Oh, do you? Oh, you're right. No, he needs white. Oh, man, 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 man. 
That was a good shout, actually, Omega. There's me acting like Bumble Chops McGee. If he has Wynota. But Wynota doesn't play Agent in this deck. It plays Angrath's Marauders, which doubles damage. And if you block with an Obliterator, then they'll sacrifice like 15 to uh, permanents. Or technically be 8. But you know. You know, dudes. Let's think. Man, I had the greatest block with a Phyrexian Obliterator the other day. Now, let me tell you the story, Lance. I had my peeps. They were all here. I was playing against Mono Red. Classic, dump your hand, get ready to attack. 15 peeps. It's the, the scene set. Everyone, everyone gets it. He outmanned me by a lot. I was on something like 14 life. He plops... What do you call it? Oh, he's already got the uh, the artifact where everybody gets plus one. So everyone's a little bit bigger. And then he plops Obosh. Obosh. And then doesn't think, again, attack. I, I've won. I'm attacking. But, ladies and shits, he had two fervent champions on the field. What an absolute memester. So if he didn't attack with those two, I would have lost the game. But I blocked each fervent champion with an obliterator and the first strike meant he had to sacrifice something like uh, 12 perma boys 10 permanents oh my lord that first strike speed means he absolutely decimated his own pubes and then conceded it was so good uh, it reminded me that I hate magics again but what can you do what can you do Did. what can you do it was against mono red as much fun as you can have smashing mono red you're still in a game with mono red. So, like the best the best situation is you going into a whorehouse and coming out without AIDS. Actually, that sounds fine. Right? That's what we all hope it would happen. All right, two fights and an obliterator, but only one, only lost, not enough lands. I get to go first. What do you think, boys? This is almost instant... Um, this is almost instant response. So if you're quick enough, uh, I can actually make decisions based on your suggestions. Omega says, my biggest one was an 11-11 lifelink Sharnai cat attacking me with my obliterator out. All right, I'm going to just risk the whole fucking thing. If I don't draw any lands, I'm not going to complain. Right? We're all queued up with me having a huge wobbly. Another attack I managed to do that... Uh, was quite nice was my opponent was at five life and I had an obliterator on the field and he reanimated Ulamog with lifelink and then I just attacked and he died obviously because he couldn't block or if he did block he'd have to sacrifice ten permanents and I was like oh no did oh no did you got your bald bags blown up did that's the fair everybody wants to... uh oh hold those decks boys I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like losing to this game if I don't draw any lands. Okay, okay boys. That's a great draw. All I need is a swamp off the top. And this guy it might escape. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend like it's all over. He might escape. But we gotta hit that land. This is like uh, watching the darts or the snooker. Everyone's super quiet because they know what's at stake. Losing to Mono White. Like a dweeb. Come on, Jinx, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't lose to Mono White, did. Not like thus. Not like thus, did. So we land off the top. He might have a way to exile this, but then Vraska blows up. Uh, Oblivion Rings. I keep calling it Oblivion Ring when it's actually called something else. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, that's not good either. So maybe I should have put... Let's read what this says. When it enters the battlefield, put the top three cards. You may put a land card from your grave on top of your library. So I should have done this first, right? 100% I should have played this first so there'd be an extra two cards and if one of them was an untapped land I could have got it. Never mind. Oh my god, what a brewmeister! On the plus side, on the plus side, 
I would love to punch this guy in the fucking chops with a with an obnobs. So everyone relax. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, dudes. So of my five or six ranked games, three mono red, three mono whites, one Phyrexian Obliterator and Mirror Match. And what else? Some other shit. Okay. We got everything we need. Uh, for a maximum eggs in. Right. Everybody stay quiet. This is, the, this is the pivotal moment. It's like we're hunting a mouse. And the mouse is already stuck in a trap. And we're just like, this is a fucking load of shit. I'll take a shit on a mouse. A fucking shit on a mouse, bruv. All right. Get out. Sit back down, you bitch. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, ah, oh, cheek, she just gave up a, a removal itch. That's technically true. But uh, at the same time, it's just so much fucking beats. Hey, you're still getting beats, Cheeks. The guy was just too good at my Cheeks. He was. He was too good for me. What can I say? He was too good for me, boys. He had too much skills in dumping his hands. What an absolute memer. So, fight this. One, two, three, four, five. He's nowhere near run out of resources. But, like I said, Phyrex, uh, Vraska blows up uh, midgets. We've got a good chance. Ah, oh, this game is just so fucking AIDS. It's so AIDS, boys. Like, look at this. F like, why? I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't always compl complain about the same things. Right? Can you not jinx because you fucking do it all day long? So. I mean, I can fight this and take four. Is that good enough? He can just sacrifice all of his lands, though. And then I'll die. You know what? Fucking apes. One is it's fine. This guy will still be standing up. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So, I wonder if I had fought this. Because it would only be one extra permanent. But then my obliterator would be dead. And I'd have full exposed bomb cheeks. And anyone could do anything to it. And I like my bombs to be nicely concealed. Right. Right. No one could just be walking around with their ass out. Unless it's uh, Chanel West Coast. Chanel West Coast is officially allowed to be a bomb meister. Okay. I think... Well, we'll see. Two lands. I don't know how I'm... Well, if he gets rid of the obliterator somehow. Is that what he's got? Has he got a... Jibbity jab. Jibbity squibs. Nice one, boys. Handshakes all around. Uh, slap, pats on the back. Slaps on the bums. Everyone managed to do it. Rub it up, dubs. Absolute scenes. Absolute scenes. All right, you think it's safe to attack? <laughs> is it safe to attack? I don't know how uh, this is getting animated and this is getting killed on the same turn. Right, should be fine. Should be fine. I can't believe how uh, Mythic rank is literally exactly the same bucket of shit as every other rank. Mono White is the new pestilence of Magic Arena because it's so shit. It has no resilience to anything except Mono Red. You're probably beating it. it you're probably beating Mono Red with this deck. You can't beat this. You can't beat Ulamogs. You can't beat Exiles. Obviously, blow up all the peeps and it's flat dead every time, except one time from earlier, but you know. We don't like to talk about that. We didn't like to talk about that one bit. Do we did? No. No, I don't want to talk about it. So he might have a seal away. 
right? Then it's not a card that doesn't exist. So I'm not going to attack with the obliterator. I'm just going to take it nice and easy. Everyone relax. We'll win the long game because I got six mana planies. And his big spell is a, a Johnny's Pride Mate. So we should be on white. Why is this taking so long? Is it this guy's trigger that's slowing the game down? Or is he just being a classic mono white time staller? Who knows? You can see. What does Robert Whitaker do? You know what? I'm going to go on the man's Twitter right now and we're going to find out. What deck does Big Rob play? Technically, he is Big Rob because uh, compared to us, he's a big man. In, compared to the UFC, he's a midge bomb. Because if he played mono white, then uh, then I'm giving up on the world. Right, boys. What? You're playing planies? That's not fair. How am I supposed to win with a bunch of one ones? That's not. That's cheating, Dad. Dad, no. No, how am I supposed to win with a bunch of one ones? Did I didn't draw my soul warden? Soul Warden would get me out of this jam, ba 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 boys Okay, just about the right time for my computer to explode, I suppose. R right? Fuck it, hell. I think it's just having a tough time loading the thing. We did it. We won. I'm the best. This game's eight. So, I'm pretty sure... This doesn't break any kind of NDA, not NDA. You know, you know the stuff. It doesn't break anything that will get me copyright claimed, even though that's going around. Look at this guy. He's UF. He didn't even put Mythic in his bio. UFC middleweight number one contender, former champ. Where does it say Mythic? You're an absolute memester lad. Oh, here it is. Oh, he put it on uh, his Instagram. Boys. Did. They did. No. Look at that. Oh, no, dude. What were you playing? What were you playing, you little memester? So, he's got... Don't... Oh, don't use companions. Don't mono red. Don't cycle. I mean, you got to agree with these things. All grit. I mean, this is somebody who understands what grit really is. So I'm quite surprised to see him wanking his pubes about this. Glad to hear Mono Red was not involved. Hell yeah! I saw this on Reddit Magic Arena, so I had to come here and follow the good shit champ. You're some good shit champs. I play Luca, because I'm a brewmeister. I, <laughs> I've seen better. Uh, that's good. That's a good comment to to a UFC champ. You ain't nothing special, you mug. So I want to I want to expand this if I can. I don't think that I can. This does look like Life Link something. What is he playing, boys? What's this? It's like his lands have Life Link. Or are these new creatures? And these are attacking creatures. Could be Wynota, right? I don't know. I think this guy might be a mono white lifelink cat dude. These are soldier tokens. I don't think that that is what he's playing. I wish he cared enough to actually say what he did. <laughs> Nerd! He is. I'll knock him out. Like It's proof. I could ba bash him. What deck did you use? I hit Mythic with Grixis Fires. I'm, now that I'm Mythic, I don't think I feel as bad about net decking Grixis Fires. I want to give it a try. For a second, I thought one of my plans played Arena, and I got excited about having some more to play with, and then it turned out that I only follow uh, people I don't know, uh, like a classic Magic dude, and I've got no one to play because I'm a loser. Had no idea you played Magic. My eyeballs popped out. Ever play Escape from Tarkov, Rob? What's that? I don't know. That's a weird le leap, isn't it? Let's go gate decks all the way. Darren is going to kill you. Respect to you, though. Great fighter. 
What a noblet. Hey, some guy's gonna bust you up, mate. But you're still really good. I mean, I could knock you out, obviously. Uh, good night. Good luck, son. Psh, pay to win bullshit. You look like you play a get deck. Don't know. Maybe that means gate. I feel like it, internet slang I don't understand. Dude, you're the coolest. Wait, wait, what? This guy is definitely croquis. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? No, did. Wait, what? Wait, what? You play magic. Wait, what? Did. No. Wait, what? All right. That is a very limited screenshot, but that those are soldier tokens without lifelink. Right. But these, bo that boy has lifelink. Who's this boy? And what do the three dots mean? Is he playing mutate? Who knows? Who knows? Somebody ask him. Okay, what else should we do? Yeah, people just didn't care enough about doing a draft. Plus, I'm not doing a quick draft War of the Spark. There's no way to... Am I paying 10,000 beans? For Ikoria, though. Hmm, I don't think so. I think... Uh, you can see his VODs on Twitch. I think going to Twitch might be a, uh, an issue. I don't mind doing it when I'm on Twitch, because Twitch can get fucked. When I don't want to get uh, banned on the tubes. This is my this is my home, to lads. This is where I make all of my awful videos, complaining all day long. But I'm still the best. So imagine how shit everyone else is. Three dots uh, is a comes into play ability. Is that true? So did I put more white lands into this thing? Because if I did, I'll give this another couple of games. So, Glacial Fortress, Hallowed Fountain, Temple. Mm, I think I'm missing. I think I'm missing too many. I'm gonna take a temple out. Play another fountain. What about these things? Hmm. Alright, one fewer of these. And... One more of these. Am I moving too much towards white now? Three dots only means there is further text on the card. If you hover over the dots, it shows you them. Cheats, where's the cup for us to donate bits to? <laughs> it's on Twitch. This is the tubes. On tubes... Uh, you donate via either Super Chat or Super Sticker or somehow you can join, I suppose. If you join, you get to show your appreciation for massive baps like this. And you also get to show your appreciation for giant tits like this. Can't find a bigger tit in all of Magic's. Not even Lisbeth Eden is as titty as that guy. What am I playing? We're gonna, we're gonna ramp some. We're gonna ramp some boys. Also, keep an eye out for the three dots uh, and we'll find out what that means. Somebody else, if you've got the time, go to Robert Whitaker's Twitch and find out what he was actually playing. Because if he's playing mono white, we're gonna raid him and we're gonna call him a pussy. Uh, and I'm gonna tell him I'll knock him out whenever I see him. Right, that's gonna absolutely end well for me if I did that. Right, boys? I'm actually going to put Clear the Mind back uh, in the hopes that I can ramp into the Genesis. So I put some extra white lands. Currently zero white. He plays Gates. What an absolute meme star. Hey, boys! All right, we'll give him a minute. Maybe he's not playing mono white. Right? Before we go mad again, maybe he's not playing mono white. Hey boys, what do you think Magic the Gathering is in 2019, lads? Hey, boys, how much white land do I need to put in before I stop catching eights? Oh man. 
So, uh, drawn from dreams, I can get two white lands and then blow everyone up. And we'll play the same fucking game that we've played 17 times already against all of these typical fucking bellends. Shit, man. This game is so fucking boring. Fucking hell. Duds. For reals. Is this game designed to give me AIDS? Alright, I only need one white land. Alright, I take this. One is the second. Do you want to have full protection from AIDS? I might die though. I mean, I'm taking such a wallop. So let's say seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, okay. <sighs> Play a Johnny. Nope, nothing. Okay, that's a pretty good card. I like that. They never, they never play, uh, what do you call it? They never play Unbreakable Formation. They're totally fine to get blown up. Getting blown up is memes, boys. Getting blown up is memes. It's, it's just too much, man. I got it. I got it. Okay, so, how many cards? I need some, I need a red land. Healer Hawk for the memes. Red land me. Red land me, boys. Hold your boobs. Mm, that's probably good enough, though, isn't it? Absolute scenes, boys. Absolute scenes. I'm the greatest magic streamer ever. It's undeniable, dude. Undeniable, dude. Okay, we might be able to get in. Oh my god, he blew me up again. What an... Oh shit, this is protection from red this time. Oopsies. Oopsies, Sheiks. You fucking gave yourself AIDS. I did. I gave myself AIDS this time. Nice! Sometimes, uh... I mean, I just, I just literally saw AIDS. I saw the definition of AIDS there. AIDS is in my eyeballs. Boys, did you just see that? We've all got AIDS now. Boys. Duds. Diddly boys. Duds. I don't know if he was just embarrassed to be playing that deck against me, but I'm pretty sure you don't need protection from black uh, against the red sweeper. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. That was... I mean, that was my fault. I would have lost that game if I... Uh wasn't playing somebody who had aims in his face. He might have misclicked, but you would be very careful not to do that, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, boys? Did you would if your only play of the entire match that you had to think about was what colour to give you protection from when a guy's playing a red spell to blow you up, you probably wouldn't have bollocked it. Okay, that makes white, that makes white. We're we're fine. If this guy's playing mono white, then I'm doing a draft. Maybe. Possibly. Dudes. Dudes. Okay. Uh, Phyrexian Obliterator potential. Because the new land. But we'll cease. What day is today? Friday. No. Is it? Or is it Thursday? Yep, he's playing Phyrexian Obliterator. The Dex of Nets, boys. The Dex of Nets. Totally fine. At least it's something a bit different. Uh, I suppose the Malady put land on top. Nope. Nope. So, two Shatters. Pretty good. Grow spiral, pretty good. There is knee blue. Okay, okay, okay. So that's a that's what we call in the business as a bit of a slow start, right, boys? What 
Right, Bubba boys. Okay, we're not getting any faster. I need this to be a land. Okay. Coming into play tapped is fine. I think I'm... Oh, he missed a land, did he? I suppose I'm playing ramp. I can't really see. It's Friday morning. Which means Thursday. Right, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, Lance. Uh... Shatter is good with my current land to creature ratio. Okay. Oh, oh man, I, maybe I needed to keep that. Oh, I've got another one. So if he plays Obliterator, I can't cast this uh, unless I want to play for the memes. Shatter the Sky is pretty good. Golos is probably the best draw I could have wished for there. So I need red and blue, I think. I suppose I could have done a scrice. Could have done a scrice. So if he plays Obliterator now, I have to blow everyone up. Okay, okay. We're in it, Lance. We're in it, boys. I still can't believe how much this set list looks the same as unranked. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna have to blast him. So Phyrex and Obliterate will kill me now. Cheeks, important question. Quick twice click twice adds all the mana from Lance. Where? Click twice where? Yeah, it didn't work, you little memester. Okay, uh I wanted I need to draw a card really badly. <laughs> okay, okay. Click twice adds all mana from lands. Oh my god, what a memester, boys! He was doing the same thing everybody else was doing. Absolute scenes. So let's think. I can take five. Right. I think I can take five. I mean, famous last pubes, if it blows up in my face. But we'll see. Press Q twice quick. Oh, Q. The button Q. All right, I'll try it on my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, we have to blow everyone up again. Okay, that's pretty good. Two for the price of one. Hey, for the memes, boys. For the memes. Not today. You're right! Look at that, Lance! Absolute scenes! Absolute scenes. Alright, next time. Next time we'll remember that and we'll get him. So he's got to be out of Obliterators now. Oh my lordy Jesus. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do now. Nothing for the memes, but you don't get to see the memes because they're for me So he kept a hand with three obliterators and I kept a hand with four blow up all the peeps and I thought I was gonna be fine What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Can't complain. I Nearly got to do everything that I wanted. That's such a It's such a tight one to get the last mana Out of uh the Golos. Because I would have played... I would have played... The Genesis uh, card. And I couldn't do it. But... I don't know why you would want to tap all your mana at once, though. I suppose for... Um... Okay, Garuda means I'm going to lose. Right, I don't play any counter spells. I can't do anything in response. Alright, alright, alright. 
That means sometimes you just lose it. Sometimes you just look over at someone's companion and you know that you've lost the game. That's the best part of companions. Isn't that right, Lance? So what could I have done? Nothing. I suppose, yeah, if I had just got the right land with the Golos, then I might have been fine. But I didn't. Uh, and then I called eight. So this is blue and green. So this is fine. Drawn from Dreams, definitely a good fit in this deck. Yeah, Wilderness, Reclamation, and Banefire, says Chaos Mastermind. That's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I mean, that was a good, this was a fun game, right? That was fun. Oh, you didn't draw your blow-ups, Cheeks. You can't complain if you can't catch eights. That's true. So, he, what can he get of mine? He can get Ulamog, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of that card. It's pretty, pretty big. It's pretty big. Okay, nothing. Ulamog, eh? Not from me, you don't, son. <laughs> Not from me, boys. That was, I mean, I just knew. Turn one. Garuda in his hand. I know I lost that game. That's, I don't think magic uh, should be that way, right? I think magic should be a little bit more uh, good. Should be better than that, right? Joshua Looney says, Cheeks. I'm going to apply to be an RPA pilot, and I might get it too. RPA, what's, R what's RPA? Royal Space Police. Is that what it is? Did the Spaceys, the Spacey Boys? Chaos Mastermind says I miss Elvish Rejuvenator. Used to play that in all of my decks. It was a late addition to this one, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's good. I had different. Well, I think it's better than Uro for my deck, which is weird. Okay, seems solid. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this guy gets in a huge uh, fuss whenever I smash his bolts when he's playing some meany deck. So, well, the joke is that uh, I'm gonna play the best deck that I have, and if he could beat me, he's earned himself a thumbs up. But if he complains that we're playing to fairies, then we can laugh. Right, dudes? Right, dudes? Rectal Prolapse Admiral. That would be quite the first position. But I think Gabby Sparks got that. Uh, nailed. Nailed, dudes. So, Omen of the Sea, uh, also a viable turn one play there. But I don't think we're under any pressure. It'd be a Reaper pilot. Damn. That is an actual Schmiegler. Right. Boys. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Tidor says, I believe RPAs are drones. Right. What an absolute memer. Uh, am I going to need to blow up on any peeps? Probably not. Doesn't look like a peeps deck. The fairies. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. For Wilderness Reclamation, it's pretty good. Okay. I don't want this either. Dispute. Because uh, I'm a memester. Lance. Alright. Uh, do I blow this guy up to stop him playing lands? It looked like he didn't draw any lands, so I think it's going to be okay. We've still got a dispute if he plays a blue card. Everyone gets weeped. Everybody gets weeped. So I can counter the ominous cease, but I don't think that's very strong. But I probably will, just because. Right, it. Right, it. <laughs> hey, son. Have you met my friend Teferi? 
He's an absolute memester. This isn't a you know what? Ah, it's Done. nothing like playing uh, your own boys, right? For the memes. This might be a bad idea. So let's think. We'll flash this into our card, do a shit, uh, and all the rest of it. Hopefully, uh, Josh's application gets accepted. I hope so too. Although, I, you probably have to go through a pretty stringent uh, psychological evaluation. I'm sure dropping bombs on people's faces is pretty risky. So what did he choose? He chose... I don't know. Can I not tell? I pro He'll probably want to get rid of the Teferis, right? Oh, it only destroys creatures. What a means to... Probably got enough lands now. Okay, okay. Hmm. All right. Keep up the pace. Let's not. Okay, that's a good draw, right, boys? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Nice, nice. Chaos Mastermind says, I don't feel guilty calling Teferi a piece of absolute trash. Teferi is absolute AIDS. Teferi, we've been hating on that guy since Dominaria. But Wizards, we just keep getting more of him. We're getting a whole core set of Tef next month. Song of Creation for the memes. He finally did it, Lance. He got to play his little memester card. He's given my sigil a good look. It is pretty nice. I can understand why you'd get an abona for it. Teffy boy, he's also pretty sexy. This guy, he's still sexy. Alright, what do we want? Mystical Dispute and Omen. Uh, both good enough for their old cheeks. Right! Both good enough for the checks here, Chip Champs. I don't even need a bonus land. You can just blow him up. Blow him up. So, discard his hand. Uh, I shuffle that back in his library. He catches AIDS. That's that. Right, hang on, let's think. Let's do the number wings. So if I put it back with this, it costs four to recast. One, two, three, four. But then he can pay the cost. I don't want him to pay the cost. Paying the cost is eight. Right, dweebs. Oh my god, Dr. Cheeks is just too good at Majeeks. So now, uh, now I can counter it. And then he can't do anything for the rest of the match. Right, that's absolute scenes, boys. No time for I remember when Dr. Cheeks used to be fun and play for the memes. And we were all had a good time. And then he turned into a, someone who smashes his peeps. You got big mouths, boys. If you guys didn't have such a fucking big mouth, I, I wouldn't give you such bleeps all the time. But uh, what do you do? Do you think they'll reprint Teferi Time Raveler? Zero chance. They'll probably... They'll have to just learn their lesson, right? They'll have to have learned their lesson. Yeah. They'll have to have... Boys. Didn't even want to pay the cost. Absolute scenes. So, ladies and shits. Don't think I'll always play my best deck against you. When we play Magic the Bollocking. This is just because... Uh, every single stream... Our man BLZ Boybs wants to play this deck. And every single stream and in the Discord... I tell him... I wish these decks were good. I wish we could all play them and have a nice time. And they're terrible. And I know I got the best deck in the game because I built it and it got me all the way up to the holy grail of Gabby's pubes. But uh, I just like crushing dreams, boys. That's the kind of person I've become. You're lucky I don't play mono white all day long. What else can we play? What's good? This deck turned out shit. It lost its favorite uh, setting. <laughs> Pirates, right? Everyone loves pirates. 
Tiago Pereira says, I saw your video from almost three years ago when Positive Pleats got Ulamog in Magic's Jules. I don't even know if those were the days anymore. Was, was I happier playing Mag Magic's back then? Garuda, what an absolute memester, lad. Hey, Garuda, what an absolute homebrew jeeble jabber. Right, boys. When you get to Mythic, you can take a time. You can take a time out from playing net decks all day long. Isn't that right, ba 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 boys? I probably should have played uh, something that has eights. I don't know. So I'm just getting multiple Garudas, but I think that's okay. So we'll play Captain Dildos. Do the ramps. Maybe Angrath something. We'll see. We'll see, won't we, boys? I think that's probably my favorite terrible deck. It reminds me of the time gone by where cards used to go up in mana and then cap out at like this. Not go turn one bollocks, turn two bollocks, turn three, get infinite bollocks. Those were the days, boys. Those were the days. So if I play Angrath, I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm taking this bitch. Eat my ass. That's what we're doing. We'll keep him off the manes. Right, lands. You want six mana? Well, suck my dick. Nice. Nice one, Dits. Dits. Can you imagine playing pirates in 2019, dudes, against net decky doodle schmopplers? Of course you can, dudes. That was a bit weird. Didn't even sound Scottish. It sounded crazies. So, can I win the game on this turn? Or am I going to get absolute eights? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another one would be seven. So, start off with this. No five. For runner. If I put a card on top, it gets milled. Alright. Alright, I think it's fine. As long as uh, I don't get blown up, then it doesn't make any difference. So, also, if I'm right, this is the sequence. Play this first, and then this gets uh, another treasure token. So you actually do one extra damage. Right, boys, you fucking dweebsh. Alright, aren't those dicks? <laughs> so, play Garuda, presumably. Get out of here, you net deck slag! You just got beat by pirates, you mag! <laughs> Dead. Can you imagine getting beaten by pirates with your net deck Garuda and Matak did? Can you imagine being such a bad net decker that you couldn't be Dr. Cheeks playing pirates in 2019, dude? Oh no, that is embarrassing, lad. Dude, that is I'm, I'm I feel sorry for your dad, dude. He already thinks you're a fucking dweeb. My dad stopped talking to me the moment I went up to Mathak, dude. When I got to Mathak, I immediately went bald and started doing crack. That's why I'm so twitchy in my chair, dude. Dude, have you noticed how much of the, 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 the twitching I got, lads? Every time I go off for a coffee, you know what I'm actually doing? Oh, dude, that is some good, strong coffee, dude. That's why I can't stop bouncing my knees, did! Cauldron of Eternity? Oh my god, even I can't use that load of old boobs. This spell costs two less to cast for each creature child in your grave. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Whenever a creature you control dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. For three mana, return target creature card from your grave to the field... Only on your turn, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. So let's think. Now that Ulamog exists, it's fucking 12 mana to begin with, though. So let's think. How could we use this? Let's... Oh, you know what? Fucking Robodix. Uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Right, boys. So I'm... Uh, I don't think I want to buy another cauldron. But I might, if I've only got two. We've got four! Absolute scenes, lads. Absolute scenes, dude. Absolute scenes. So, what else are we doing? How else are we... Uh, putting cards in the grave? How are we getting cards in the grave? Boys. Stitcher Supplier. Pretty... I'm playing all four. Fuck it. So it's got to be Golgari, right? Agent. Agent is shit. I don't want to put Agent when you could put Ulamogs. We can think bigger than Agent uh, in Historic, I think. So we needed people in the grave. We need to put them in the grave. So there's three ways you can do that. Mill yourself. Uh... Cycle... But then they'll suppose no. What about you? So it would be blue or red to draw a card, discard a card. So what? Or it would be green to just mill. I suppose you could play three colors, right? Do all of it, right? So if that's true, Maya Triton, which is like my new, I, is in almost every deck now. So Maya Triton is okay. Glow Spore. We'll do some cuts after we think about uh, the shits. What's the other guy? Fiend Artisan. If there's a million guards in the grave, Fiend Artisan's going to get pretty big, did. Uh, sacrifice another creature. Search a library for a creature. So they wouldn't go into the library. They wouldn't go into the grave once this is on the field. Alright, what else? Gorging Vulture, Rankle. Those are quite big, though. But you might, I don't know. You might be right. Also, we need... Look, look. We're already up to 47 cards, and there's only Ulamogs. What other ridiculous sex bombs that nobody plays can we try? I suppose I could put an agent in. Zakama. I mean, the Zakama abilities are too much. Right? Like, the reason why this is a good card... Is because its abilities are great, but I can't use that mana. So I don't think I don't think that's for us. I actually bought this like a twat. Just a flat. It's just such rubbish. What about Darigans? Haste is pretty good, right? I think we could put one in. Khan can animate it to a twelve twelve, and search for it into your sideboard. That's interesting. But what else does it do? They get me cards from my, like you said, from my sideboard. But they're only artifacts, right? So let's say I were to play two cards. What artifacts really help me out? Raygox says Zatalpa and Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant can probably be cast. Right. I think Carnage Tyrant is too small. I think I think we're not thinking big enough. Maybe Torgar's better. Put them immediately on ten life. Hmm. Think. Also, think that because 80% of this game seems to be against mono white weenies, am I going to have to play blow up all the peeps? I don't think Carnage Tyrant goes in. If, look, if we play green black, then it looks like it can just get played. So maybe. Alright, one for now. So Cauldron is fine because that's what we're doing 
Kiora untap the cauldron. Does Kiora untap artifacts? Yep. I mean, I don't think the land's very good. But okay, we can try, maybe. Do the ramps. So I think I need more ways of putting cards in the grave. Looking at this. I, th I don't think Khan is the answer. I don't think it's doing enough. I'll take that out for now. So the Gorger. It's not called Gorger? Vulture. Gorging Vulture. So how else can we put a big batch of cards at once in the grave? It would be blue, right? Or red. Binding of the Titans. Yeah, that's pretty cute. This looks like the deck we built the other day, though. <laughs> yeah, it's almost exactly the same. So splash uh, blue f for what? Or red? Hmm. Hmm. We're not playing any reanimates. Uh, we're just going all in on cauldrons. I don't need three Ulamunks. I'm going to get stuck with one in my hand because it can't be cast. That's that's right. How do I get cards from my hand out of my hand? Has to be red, right? Th thrill, I suppose. So, one more red card. What do you think? Or is there another non thrill way to get uh, lands out of my balls? So, what colours am I? Red, black, green. I think red, black, and green is one of these. Nope. Alright. Oh, it's fucking giving me the old bullshit. 25 lands is probably alright. Alright, so that's 60 cards. I'll play it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, I could do Ashiok. Yeah. Ashiok's probably better than uh, the woman. Thirst for Meaning is discard two cards. And chart, of course. Okay. I think I think your suggestions there are actually better. Yeah. So I think I should take red out and play blue. Right. Everybody in agreement there? Or you think it doesn't matter? Lot left giant to win. We'll see. So Thrill and Satalpa may work to give them like rice and peas. Somehow I got all three lands, all basics. Playing Garuda for the fourth time today. Good stuff. Good stuff, boys. What are you going to do? I love the variation of this game. I love how varied this game is. Have I ever said to you, boys, when I sit down to play my magic games, all I want to do is play the exact same bucket of fucking shit. Of course I never say that, because it's fucking eight. <sighs> never mind. We all saw me beat this fucking exact net deck with pirates. So in conclusion, I'm the best. All right, that's a lot of shit. So how many creatures in the grave? None. That's that's pretty bad, considering that's what we're supposed to be doing. He literally card for card net deck. Well, you are in Mythic, Jinx. That's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to card for card net deck. Uh, fucking spunk. I got spunk in my face. Hmm. 
So. It's Twilight Prophet. He's playing Twilight Prophet, Jinx. He's officially a memester. You lose, Jinx. You lose my Jinx today. Incel lands to go with the dead damage. Oh, we've already established it's not net damage, Jinx. He's just memesters. So I think I'm not going to actually find a cauldron. There's just two in the fucking grave. So, what do we do if we accidentally plop all of our cards in the grave and then get stuck while this guy does eight? <laughs> what are you going to do? I can play Brokos uh, if I also play blue. True. Casual three mana Gaunter for the memes. So I don't play any removal, so I'm in massive problem. Okay, boys! Boys! Boys. Hey, boys, have you heard of eights? It's bad. Nobody needs eights. So he hasn't got any cards in his grave. Return target, creature or land from your grave to your hand. So I suppose we'll take a Stitcher Supplier. Right? So, let's do the full number wanks. No, it costs black to use. So this doesn't kill. It doesn't kill this. Yeah. Well, we did it. We made it work. Who's playing Cauldron of Eternity? Didn't. Go on, plot the Zatalpa. Why is everyone so shit at this game? Why is everybody... And I hate to say that. Why is everybody so fucking shit at magic? You're embarrassing all of us with your fucking idiocies. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, everybody dies. But there's life. But they don't stay in the grave. This guy's mythic rank, ladies and shits. Every day we see something... St and I don't like doing that. I don't like calling people shit at magics. Because... Uh, I'm shit at magic. But this is 2019, did Surely we have uh, breached the eights of, of this game. Right? We must have gone beyond the Adrodome. What are you doing? What can you do? Don't call people shit, Jinx. It makes me sad. It makes me sad when you say everybody is shit, Dr. Jinx. I used to like it when you were super fun. Hey, boys, he's finally got the decks of the nets. Nothing for you, son. Nothing for you. Unless you can fight me, and I think I can knock you out. I think I can bash your balls right into next week. All right, uh... I mean, he would have given himself a better chance if he had killed the wiener. Ah, fucking hell, man. It's just decorage. Oh, well, Twilight Prophet is definitely bruised, Chinks. Come on. You're definitely gonna brew with your incel lands. Come on, Chinks. Come on, Chinks. You can't be meanie pants. So it worked out. Right? Nothing better than building a deck immediately and having payoff at mythic ranks. Me hey, mythic, mythic. Raygox with the uh, you missed lethal. I think you missed lethal at some point, Jinx. Did I? Cause it looked like I smashed his balls. One more game, or is it bedtimes? I actually think it is bedtimes. Let's open some packs, and then yeah, beds, beds. Zhao says, where can I get that list? Well, uh, you should have seen it. It was like one minute ago. We just built it. Jay Armstrong says, How did you get to Mythic? By playing peeps like that. Just flinging games straight in the fucking bin. Cheek, stop being mean. Makes me sad when you get mean. I used to love it when everyone was so nice to each other for the memes. I swear everyone's got worse. 
They must just spam mono white and mono red to get to mythics and then just be shit. What deck did I get? Uh, the enchantments deck. The Sigil of the Empty Throne Angels deck uh, from a couple of days ago on the tubes. Riel, I'll take it. I'll take it. I gotta make this card work. This card, it's, I don't know. I feel like it gives me the horn. And not just because it's the classic gypsy woman. I gotta, it's gotta be playable, right? You just saw me do the shmeeps with uh, Cauldron of Eternity. If you can do a Cauldron of Eternity in Mythics, then you can do anything, lads. World wind of shit. Probably shit. Right. Hmm. Classic NSA speech uh, pickups. Gigantha. That's not very good. Right. Right. Okay. I'm going to play that uh, deck one more time. Just to make sure I'm the best. <laughs> right? Just so we can confirm that Dr. Cheeks is the greatest magic magician of all time. Everybody get your screenshots of me being mythic. Because it's never happening ever again. And not because it was a grind. It really wasn't a grind. Uh, but I'm sure I won't enjoy playing that deck as much. So, is this guy mono red? Classic little toy of a memester. We'll see. No, it's Garuda again. For, for four in a row, obviously, boys. Come on. Dude, you think we're playing some fun time shits McGee's in 2019? Boys. No, we did. No, we did. These things are fucking homing beacons for the cauldrons. I think I need a way to get them out of the grave. I think I need a way to get them out of the green. What's the opinion on free Austin? Free Stone Cold Austin. We do need to free Stone Cold. That man is a national treasure. That's what he says, right? Uh, a global icon and a national treasure. That's his thing. So, put that away. Okay, that's not what I needed. So... Not playing. I think I, I think this is the one that we're gonna lose, right? I you can't go a lot around beating net deck versions of an established load of fucking pubes with your dog shit in mythic. Then, every time I say anything, I gotta say in mythics because I'm mythics, boys. I'm mythics. Oh, the Austin, the the guy. It just I don't know, man. I mean, it's definitely not something I'll I'll fight to the death on. But it, it just looks... It's bad optics, as they say. So, I don't... He's got Garuda next turn. Oh, I'm getting milked. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to play Glow Sport. So, we'll play this on the off chance it gets bigger. If he gets uh, a blit rate back, uh, I don't know if I can do anything about that. If he gets uh, AIDS back, I mean, he's definitely already got AIDS, but we'll see. Okay, nothing from me. Ulamog? Oh, what an absolute brew, boys. Good stuff. Uh, uh, shall I take Ulamog or shall I take something else? Hmm, I don't know. Take whatever you saw when you got that deck off the internet, boy. Oh, my God, Dr. Chinks is getting mad and he's getting sorry again. Anybody who watched this full uh, stream will have seen me play Mono White five times and Garuda four times in a row. And for weeks, for weeks, I've just been saying, I just want to play some interesting shit. I just want to play some stuff. I want to see some new... There are millions of cards. That's an exaggeration. I just want to see some stuff. You saw how easy it was just there to build a deck in a few minutes and see how it played. Nobody fucking is doing that. Raygox. I think I've won 
at the very least 60% of my rank games today just playing whatever I wanted anyway I'm definitely finished so what's my opinion on Austin's Emery oh Emery's pretty good call I think this guy's actually got it boys I think he's got the answer there so red can go and we'll definitely play the blue instead because Emery does mills and gets the cauldron back classic that is a good shot I wouldn't have thought about that I probably can't get it any cheaper than alright two Kioras is balls this just doesn't do shit so I can cut those as well so Emery's always going to be three mana which is a little bit uh, shit maybe I suppose I could what's the what does this do The blue artifacts. Something in which, I'm sure. That's what it's called. When it enters the battlefield, scry two. And then sacrifice this, draw two cards. Mm, I don't know if I'm actually ever sacrificing it. Alright, well three mana is still pretty good, right? Three mana still not bad. Cheville, you think this is the, the final deck? The finally, a place where I can use the Chevs? I don't think this is a Chev. I don't think Cheville is a playable. At the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponent's control... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not killing anything ever. It's just a 1-3. Maya Triton does a much better job of milling and having death touch as well. I think it's just being a little I think it's just better, dude. Okay. Carnage Tyrant. I still feel like it's way too small. It's just... Yeah, it's just... For a card, it's balls. And with the amount of uh, obliterators around, I think I'd need a sexy flyer to get away from it. So I don't want that either. So let me think. Uh... Thirst for Knowledge, is that what it's called? Or is that an old card that I'm getting confused about? Thirst for Meaning. And it's also three mana as well. That's yeah, okay. Play Brokos. Okay, he's got it. Brokos is good. If it gets milled, it still gets played. Maybe. Is that not how you spell it? Has it got double K? All right. Okay, we'll have two more games of this. Just to just to see if we fixed it. Put the lands back. <laughs> Only one drowned catacomb. I'm not buying another one. So black, blue, green. So it'd be blue and green. Black, blue, and green. Black, blue, and green. Moish. I'm only going to play one because there's so many one and two drops. All right. This is much better. Emery is going to be the one that uh, gives me eight. Right. This is it. Oh, maybe there are too many three drops now I look at this. Drop a vulture. Or do I need more creatures? Whoops, ain't even the right deck. This is the deck. This is the mythic deck. Uh, for whoever was asking. Well, also, if we play blue, we can play agent, boys. Nobody's tired of the agent. Not in 2019. So, ditch cards, cards, cards. Fiend Artisan is massive. Glow Spore Shaman doesn't ditch many. And it's only two mana. I think Vulture is better than this, right? Is it? Here's our three manas. They're pretty good. That's instant. That's good. Vulture puts four cards in your grave. That's a lot. I've still got a red card. Nah, it's just reanimate. It's not really red. Oh, you mean a land. 
No. Hmm. I think the numbers are off somewhere. Emery is balls if you have no artifacts. Nah, 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 nah. We've got the best artifact in the ever printed. Emery is perfect. Three mana to dump three cards. It's four as well. All right, Vulture can eat my ass. Right, Vulture can get out. Emery is good enough there. That means two more spots. What do we play instead? What do you think, you max? You don't need four Emerys, says Chaos Mastermind. Nah, I, at the very least, I want three. No, I do want four. It puts cards in the grave. Two more spells. Let's see what generic sex bombs we could just crowbar in for no reason. Mm, Alright, we'll just look at any old mythics. So we don't play white. Brazen bollocks. Is that good? Thassa, God Eternal. Someone says play two Charter Course or Ritual of Soot. I don't think Ritual of Soot's good. Though it might be to blow up all my own peeps. You never know. Izaz. Who's Izaz? Oh, you mean Lazav. Lazav for two mana is not g great. It just, come, just becomes a death touch guy, I suppose. <laughs> Perforos isn't a creature when it's in your arse, unfortunately. What else? Any other big indestructible thing? If you just want to dump four cards in the grave, use then Adventure Guy. Who's the... Who? Uh, Jade Light Ranger. Jade Light Ranger is not bad. One Great Squanch. Finale of Devastation. Search a library and graveyard for a creature with converted mana cost X. If you search your library this way, shuffle in. If X is 10, creatures get plus X and haste. I don't think so. Hmm. One blue mama from Eldraine. Secret Keeper. Secret Keeper does dump peeps. I think we are in the market for something sexy though. Like Vraska for no reason. Under Realm Lick. Everybody loves Under Realm Lick in 2019. Alright, let's do that. Alright, dudes. Right, did it dudes. This is it. This is the Homebrew L Spectacular. Absolutely gonna be the best deck anyone has ever seen. Premium honks. Maximum stonks. If I play Garuda, uh, I'm phoning Whizbangs again. I'm gonna put them on speed dial and just phone them up and start going. <laughs> Alright, Karuga. So, what do you think that means? Um, Fires of Invention. We've got a Maya Triton. Alright, this is probably okay. Need to get that out of my hand. Otherwise, fine. Right, boys. Fires of Invention, what an absolute memester. So have they changed the, how this percentage works? If you win a game, do you go up or down? Do you need to be in the top 90%? Does it ever, sh or is it, uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we lost fucking AIDS. We got full AIDS. <laughs> fucking magics. <laughs> How unlucky can you get, dudes? Alright, that's a bit aggressive on something that doesn't do anything, but okay. Idyllic Tudor. Okay. Oh, for the fires, obviously, because, yeah, you know, fires. Net deck fires, boys. Boys! Boys! Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, Fires is hard, obviously. It's fucking one of the best decks in Magix. 
But what do we do? Is it Triton, Glow Spore, or is it Emery and then hold your dick? Hondans? What? I mean, I mean, that's it. We won. Anyone playing Hondans is obviously uh, some kind of, some kind of, you know, they got the some kinds. They got the, they got the some kinds, lads. We're gonna be fine. They got the some kinds. Okay, this is what I want to see for reals. I want to see if uh, Hondans are truly as unplayable horseshit as I truly believe. I don't think any deck on earth is truly losing to a Honda deck. That's the Cheeks prediction. Nobody loses to Hondans. Boys. But we'll see. I'm going to lose to Clarions. Maybe. Okay, not bad. Not bad, bad. We'll see, boys. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, boys. I'm going to lose to all the other cards on the planet that aren't Hondans. Never mind. There was no way you'd lose to a Honda. There's just nay way that. There's nay way that. But that is a backbreaker. Playing Bajukabog is, is the end for us. Never mind. It did. We did all we could. We did all we could. Rockno is playing uh, the Legend VD version. Okay, I don't... That's... I mean, I, I can... That's, that's just bobblage. That's just a bobblage. So I can't play this because I'll discard a card. Unfortunately. Oh my god, Jinx, you're going to lose to Hondans. <laughs> that is quite funny. I never... Oh, he's got two. Whoops. Whoops. All right. We did lose to Hondans. I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe my eyeballs. But it does take... It does take... Uh, Bajuka Bog and Cauldron of Eternity deck to win. If you lose, if you lose to that, then I think, um, I think that's acceptable. If I played a real deck, that if I played a real deck, there's no Hondans is so terrible. It's the first time I've ever watched a Legend VD video. That's a that's a fucking light. I think this all the time. And I just thought, this guy is just talking absolute fucking ass. There is zero chance that deck is a 5-1 deck. In it's it's a five it's a five win deck over a, the course of a day playing it. Well you just lost Jinx! Yeah, they got the perfect opponent, as A New Start says. If you're playing me with this deck, you got a chance. If you're playing in Mythic against anyone else, mono white. You're dead on turn fucking one. Uh, okay, so this guy 100% is playing Treasure Cruise Aids or whatever that card is called. Uh, is there a way for me to get out? Can I get out from underneath? Oh my, what a meme stop, boys! He was playing the card with the deck! Oh my god, absolute fun times. Zero magic was played. This guy caught Aids all over his ass. It was so much fun that I also have AIDS in my ass now. Uh, and it's bleeding slightly, but I'm going to be fine. So I can't win in time. There's zero magic. Zero magic in this game. I played this guy... I've only ever beaten it twice. Number one, if you play any counter spells, they lose. Any counter spell on the planet and they can't do anything. The only other time you can win is if somehow, boys... Um... I want to just play Emery. Uh, I don't have enough creatures in the grave. Uh, I just can't win. Uh, the only other time I beat it was a guy who didn't know what he was doing, obviously, because he's a fucking fuckwit to play this to begin with. And he completely decked himself by accident. Those are the only two wins I've ever had. Because all the decks I play are based on playing Magic, boys. All of the decks that I play when I play Magics are based on playing magic. This deck is the least magic-y deck, even compared to Mono White. Zero interaction, four spells in the whole fucking thing. Four spells in the whole deck. You are an embarrassment to this game. You make this game AIDS. Full, unmitigated 
Non-stifled AIDS. I don't think I can get out of it, by the way. I, I, did I, have I mentioned that? Dids. Dids. Have I mentioned that I can't get out of this uh, AIDS lock? Mm hmm Okay. Got this two mana for his Oracle. What a Brewmeister, boys! What a Brewmeister! He managed to build that up exactly like how Huey Jensen did it. And then Huey Jensen said, This deck is boring. I'm never playing it again. But this guy was like, I might get some free wins because my dad is beating my mum senseless in the kitchen and I don't want to listen to it anymore. I just want to run away and cry and then maybe I'll catch my fucking... Who knows what? You know, I want to say AIDS, but I need to face that out. One more game. I probably should have just conceded that. You know, like... Uh, truly, the craziest thing that I've experienced today is just the amount of the same decks and not even good ones no teferi decks no uh i think maybe one winota deck no luca decks no agents one fires honden i'm counting that as uh hondens over fires i think only a complete fuckwit is playing hondens uh and not thinking they're gonna get obliterated by anyone playing a real neck Whatever. I think I let myself get too salty by the end of the game. By the end of the video, right? It was fine. Esteban GMB. Good morning, bullbags. Okay. I like the look of this. All I gotta do is mill the thing. Okay. For, you, I did ask for a real deck. Uh, I, can't, I can't complain now, right? I did say I haven't played a real deck all day. Q Virgins. That's my fault. That's on me, lads. Mask of Immolation. He's brewing it, boys. He's doing the brews. So, another Stitcher Supplier. Yeah. We're going to fill our decks and then Fiend Artisan. Right, maybe he won't be able to smack a Fiend Artisan. It's already quite big. Right, boys? Actually, this is going to be like a 10-10. So the only way I think I'm losing this game is... Steal. Steal, steal a boy. Right. If he's got Steal a boys, actually... Let's kill this guy. Oh well, we got well, we got him. I think that's fine. So fiendage, yeah. The only way I lose this one is probably to eight. What's the claim? The firstborn. If he's got one of those, I'm in trouble. If he doesn't, then... Uh... Oh, if he... Yeah, if he claims the firstborn, it'll be a 1-1. One -one. That's a good shout. It's a good shout, Stu. It's a good shout. I love the I love the way that this guy's building around Mono Red. Like there's, like, there's a secret behind it. I'll get to the hang of this, boys. Boys! Mono Red, secretly, is actually good. Nobody's managed to discover what it is, but I'm sure... Mask of Immolation uh, is going to be the card to give me the massive bunch of fucking AIDS. Right, Cheeks? Cheeks? Going to say AIDS a bit more? Fucking love AIDS. So I don't think I'm in a position to attack with the Fiend Artisan, but I get another one, right? As soon as I get another one, it's going to be pretty good. Pretty good AIDS! Pretty good AIDS. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. And then Saturday, there's a proper UFC event. He fucking had it. Fucking Virgins. What are you going to do? But like you said, it wasn't as big as he was hoping. Just like his PP. But I'm going to die. Right? Mm-hmm. Just, just so much skills. So much skills of the Virgins, boys. Boys. This guy, he's just, he was just too good at Majigs for me. 
There was nothing that could be done with this level of a genes. Isn't that right, Lance? So, Emery is not good enough. Okay, Brokos balls too. <laughs> Never, whatever. Whatever. If you're playing mono red in 2019 for any reason, you are an absolute pussy. And I don't need to make it any less uh, shmeebles than that. So if I equip this and kill this, then I get to attack the lethals. I'm so good, Dad. I did it. I played mono red like a fuckwit and I fucking did it. The funny thing is, if I play unranked, it's it's worse than this, I think. Right? So, at the end of the day, I had... What? AIDS in my balls. So he's trying to win like a fuck... Like just a time-wasting bitch for some reason. Why do it that way? Fucking loser. Alright. You're a fucking time-wasting little bitch cunt. <sighs> what are you gonna do? He had the one card that I needed him not to have. But he had it. Because he was just too good. Mono red players are too good, boys. I... I... Uh, let's not go out on a... Let's keep playing until it's fun. Right? So we'll be here for another four hours. Well, Dr. Cheeks, you should know better than try and build decks that you like. Uh, you're an idiot, Cheeks. I mean, that's how I feel. Like, I don't know how I haven't been able to drum that into my mind yet. Every day, we play Magics. That's a lie. I don't play every day. But whenever I do play, I'm like, this is the one, boys. This is the game. All right. So tough. So tough, did. What are you gonna do? Like, a, a big part of me also feels like these twats, they don't deserve to play the games that I'm, the decks that I'm playing against them. They're just never winning this shit. And Michael says, why so much hate towards Hondans? It's not so much hate, it's that they're bullshit. And. Legend VD made a deck, a video of a deck, where he won all of his games with them. And I thought, it's, it's so indicative of YouTube videos to me now, that people are just so embarrassed to show any games that they lose. That, Hondans are so terrible. They are bullshit. But, you know, you gotta show, like, you can't show a video where you go two and five. That's crazy. Okay, this guy looks like he's mono white, and it also uh, turns off all of my stuff. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do, boys? Alright, this guy seems to have some kind of mental deficiency. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. One more game, because we're having such a good time, right? We're having such a good time with our experimental decks playing mono shits all the time. Ah, <sighs> magics is great. Am I? Ha Do I have to start building best of three decks? You know what? Let's fucking try that. Let's try that right this fucking minute. Uh, what do I want on a sideboard? Oh fuck that! I ain't doing no sideboardage. Sideboard ins for the weeps. <laughs> One game. This just. Uh... All right. This is it. We'll see what this guy's playing. If this guy's playing for the memes, I shouldn't be doing this. I think it's just a waste of time. I think... I, uh, the video's been fine up to now, right? It was fine until I played so much of the same shit that uh, I actually caught eight. So turn two glow spore, put land on top, emery, and then stuff. That's the plan. That's the plan. Dudes. 
Okay. Uh, normally, I would start going, he's taking it too serious and he's looking at his hand and all that. But Arena has been disconnecting on me in this loading screen so much. Who knows? Nope. He was just wanking it a bit. And was sort of my fear. The amount of time... Well, you know. Let's not go to... Let's not. The blood clubs. Thought erasure. Fiend artisan is to take. If anyone is wondering. There you go. Good one, son. <laughs> oh, fucking Grixis fires. Uh-huh. Four lands in the grave. Nice. All right. I, w I like Grixis fires. And I think playing it in Mythic ranked is probably the place for it, right? That's definitely not the one to take, but uh, that was good news for us. Okay, get in there, boys. Alright. I can't play it this turn. So hopefully Emery doesn't die. And then we can play the cauldron. If Emery, if Emery dies, then we got one card in our hand against Net Decky Fires. Pretty tough dudes. Pretty tough dudes. Pretty tough dudes. Oh my god, he had it. He had the Tyrant Scorn, boys. What an absolute memer. What an abs... Oh, he couldn't use it. Lols. L-O-L-X, boys. L-O-L-X-Ds. Not bad. Not bad, eh, Cheeks? Hey, Dr. Cheeks! Not bad! <laughs> Alright, now we go sideboards and I get absolutely fucking raped. <laughs> but that's life ain't it? That was, you know, it was good. We got to do the dream. We lived the dream of playing a game of magic. But now we have to lose two in a row. Never mind. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. I got a rustless cheeseburger in the fridge. It's 20 past 4 in the morning, which is definitely when you should be making microwavable uh, canter burgers. And then what? What shall I watch? What shall I watch? It's... What's on the Netflix? It's going to tweak my balls. Oh! If anybody has Funimation, there's a program called Seven Mortal Sins. Damn. They have got Premium Battle Edge. Premium Battle Edge. I wonder if I'm becoming the kind of weirdo who watches huge tits animes. <laughs> who can say? So what do we want? How do I not die? That doesn't seem bad. Does it seem bad? So what would he have brought in? Blow up all the weenies, probably. Blow up all the weenies seems bad. Destroy artifacts is bad. Uh... Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Seven Deadly Sins. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's about Lucifer uh, as an angel. Narset. Yeah, that suits me. Okay, that absolutely gave me eight. So I've got three... So this gets everybody, right? Exile target creature and all other creatures of the same name. Classic. Classic Moojinx, baby. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Narset. Give you a punch in the balls. Okay, dead. <sighs> what a game. What a game. It is seven deadly sins. Okay, I'm glad everybody knows what it is. Because it's fucking two poips. Uncut version. Classic. So, ah, such a backbreaker. But never mind, dudes. We can do it, lads. All I need to do uh, is draw 15 six mana spells. So, 
So, I, I never draw any cards, right? Nah, I got thirst for meaning, I suppose. My mind needs a rest. Okay, okay. Uh, I also suppose Bajuka Bog uh, could be a sideboard card. I just don't think I can do it, right? Sideboarding against Grixis Fires. Pretty tough, did. So he can get a destroy artifact uh, from the sideboard. But it's fine. We got to play one time, right? One time, boys! Maximum abuse. Uh, nah. I don't have black. Heartbreaker. If I had black, I could have done it again, dudes. I could have, I could have zatalped him. What would he have done? He would have cried. That's fine. You think I can't beat a Phyrexy boy with my Rudal Beans? You're memeing, lad. So can I just make this guy fly and really, you know what, pubes on it. Oh, mm, can he fight my boys? Can he fight my boys? That's the risk, isn't it? Fighting my boys is really bad. Hmm, well, we'll see. We'll see, dudes. Midnight Toka, I just realised what a fucking twat name. Okay, this is the turn, lad. What are you got in your pew pubes? Vraska's Contempt? Is that what he's got? It's not gonna be good for me. I'll absolutely throw her fit. <laughs> so, Star of Ex Oh, he's got Star of Extinction in his hand, you fucking mug. They'll just exile. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised. Sacrifice four permanents. One, two, three, four. If he's got another fight effect, uh. Fair play. Lance Magics. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you've got one, then use it, because then I lose, smarty boy. No? Okay. <laughs> so if I top deck a mana... Okay, another cauldron. Pretty bad. Not gonna pretend it isn't, dude. Three lands in the grave. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm, so I couldn't get the win. But I can sacrifice this for a one drop. Because he'll have to do Star of Extinction for uh, even. Maybe. Depending on, uh, you know. Depending on how big the man's brain is. I didn't give... Oh, I can only do this on my turn. And he chose Odd. Which is Odd. That must be a fight effect then. Otherwise he's just bongled his anus. Hmm. 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 That's a, that was a bit of a weird one, wasn't it, Lance? Just leave you with the other taps on the field. Hmm. Well, knowing the difference between odd and even is the least surprising thing. Uh, I've seen today. I've seen all the kinds of shit. Lightning Strike, my Phyrexian Obliterator. I never saw that today, but you know. Alright, that's enough. 
we managed to win a best of three, two nil against uh, Grixis Fires. What are you gonna do? That was weird. So what am I gonna do? Seventeen thousand gold. I think you, yeah, we'll open another couple of packs. That le yeah, that was the worst Legion's End uh, ever to afflict my bum, and I still won that game. What a memester! What a memester did! Two more packs. Oh, is uh, the classic packs aren't out yet, right? No. I need to find. I need to get a uh, classic Ulamog. Not Ulamog. I need to get classic Bollocks. Willis with ten dollars. Great stream tonight, cheeks. Congrats on the rank. Thanks, boys. Uh, Willis, thanks uh, for your continued support. I mean, it is true I am the greatest magic dude ever to live, but I appreciate uh, that you recognize me as such. It means, it means, it means, it means the world, did The whole world. In my bum hole. Two more packs. What do I want? I have zero Lucas and zero Narsets. And I want at least one of each. I think I want a Narset. I think I'll take a Narset. Stephen Hutchins says, fancy your game cheeks. Uh, I think I'll play you off stream if you want. Uh, this is definitely my last game. And my computer's gone all uh, dead. So, maybe that is the last game. What's your name? Alright, it's making noise. So you can hear it in the background, right? All right, I'll probably have to restart. Well, we're at the end anyway. So, ladies and shits, until next time, rub my balls.